I would hope, though, if they can't do the Saudi uh, thing with Fury and Usyk, they at the very least would go forward and try to do Wilder Joshua. Because even if that's on its own, that's uh, on its own. That's still one of the biggest fights in boxing, in my opinion. <laughs>
to the rematch terms that, in my opinion, were very onerous on Usyk. And therefore, the fight didn't happen. Uh, you know, Fury, it's, there's ways to get out of fights. You can make the deal you offer so unpleasant and so unsignable that the other side walks away and then you can claim victory and say, well, I made the offer, but they left the table. Well, yeah, because your offer was shit. So if, if you tr if you take a look at that sort of way of doing things, and now you look at the way they're trying to deal with this uh, situation of trying to make a fight between uh, Fury and Joshua, it feels like it could be the same thing. And what rings in my mind is when uh, I, I talked to Anthony in an interview, we had like a Zoom together. This is like a few days or a week before he fought Jermaine Franklin. And I asked him about, you know, the situation when before the Franklin fight was made, there had been the discussion about them doing this Tyson Fury fight. And Joshua just sort of like, you know, and Joshua was like a pretty good natured guy. I feel like he sort of laughed. He says, yeah, because Fury gave me like two days to make the deal. Like, in other words, he acknowledged that the deal was offered, but the manner in which it was done was done with such a hammer that you basically gave them no choice but to not take it because they didn't have tr enough time to actually get down in the details and vet the whole thing. You're not just going to sign randomly and find out all the devils in the details and be, you know, over a barrel when you don't like certain aspects of it. So that's unfortunately the way that Fury has handled his business. So uh, he tries to bum rush these guys into taking fights and, and signing for terms that aren't appropriate. There's a reason why he has been unsuccessful making an Usyk fight, was unsuccessful in making the, the AJ fight, uh, had a lot of problems, obviously, when it came to making the Deontay Wilder uh, uh, second fight, which also contained the terms for the third fight. You know, if you have that happen more than one time, that's sort of not an accent. That's like a trend. So the other guys haven't really seemed to have issues making fights. Usyk's made plenty of fights. Wilder's made other fights. Joshua's made other fights. So uh, the, the one that seems to be the sticking point, the problem, is Tyson Fury. And I'm not even like saying like he's a bad guy for it. He has a certain way he wants to conduct his career. He is the heavyweight champ of the world. He does have certain privileges that that comes with. But the other side, they don't have to take it if they don't like it because Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder and all these guys, uh, Usyk, they got other things they can do and make a lot of money doing it. Mm. Dan, uh, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Uh, the Zoom's about to end. So uh, appreciate your time. And I'll leave a link in the description to both your newsletter and your podcast, I believe, Big Fight Weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, yeah, appreciate your time as always. Thank you. All right, you bet, Jonathan. Enjoy your stay in New York City, my man. Appreciate it. Take care.